if you want to be a better leader and have great relationships with others, you need to be able to communicate. Just because your employees follow your orders or your fellow team members do what you ask of them, doesn't mean you are a good communicator. Today, five quick tips to improve your communication skills. Hi guys, I hope you're doing great today. If you're new to this channel and you like videos about self-improvement and happiness, this is your channel because I'm here to give you tips and strategies to achieve your dreams, unleash your true potential and live an awesome life. So consider subscribing down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Okay, let's talk about communication. Communication is simply the act of transferring information from one place to another. Although this is a simple definition, when we think about how we may communicate, the subject becomes a lot more complex. As you know, there are various categories of communication, like spoken or verbal communication, non-verbal communication, and written communication. The art of communication is not a skill that everyone is born with, but it is something you can learn. Here are five tips to improve your communication skills. Record or watch yourself speaking. A great way to improve your communication skills is to see and hear for yourself how you actually communicate. You can do this by recording yourself talk. For example, record one of your company meetings where effective communication is important. Studies have shown that many employees leave meetings without knowing what they are supposed to do next. So it's the perfect opportunity to improve and implement your new communication skills. When you listen and watch yourself back, you will be able to easily determine the areas where you are lacking in communication. Study how you give instructions. Were they easy to understand? Listen to how you answered questions. Were you listening attentively and did you provide a clear answer or meaningful advice? Just like professional athletes, watching your performance back will allow you to see and hear your mistakes and improve upon them next time. Listen more, talk less. You will never be an expert communicator if you are always talking and never listening. Being an active listener is one of the best ways to encourage open communication. When people know that you're really listening to them, they won't hesitate to come to you again when they need to talk about an issue. Focus on truly listening to the other person in a conversation, instead of thinking about what you're going to say next. Ask follow-up questions to show that you're paying attention. When you practice these active listening skills often, listening along with better communication will begin to come naturally. Reread before hitting send. Given the age we live in, I would be remiss to leave out tips for communicating digitally. And this is one of the easiest, but also most useful of any I have found. When communicating in a professional environment, mistakes or typos can make a really bad impression. However, most people have an interesting mental block here and think that they always write perfectly. But the truth is that mistakes and typos don't escape anyone even professional writers. So do yourself a favor and prove your writing, whether it's a simple email or an important report. People don't really care, so relax. When we communicate with others, we tend to think that they are judging us about every other thing we do and say. 
This affects everything we do when we communicate with others, whether we notice it or not. The truth is, most of us are just too self-absorbed to care. What is happening within us often magnifies what's going on outside of us. So, if you can remind yourself of this when you are communicating, it will give you a sense of relief that allows you to relax and communicate more clearly and confidently. Think about your audience. This is relevant in all forms of communication, be it written or in person. Before you start a dialogue with anyone, take a minute to think about who that person is. Think about who they are in relation to you, their level. Then think about how they like to communicate. Is it with a lot of detail or is it action-based? Then. Decide the best form of communication. For example, would your colleague prefer an email or just a quick face-to-face -face brainstorm? This all sounds like it takes a long time before you have even started. But in reality, it will take you less than a minute and you will get faster and more familiar with the process every time. I'm convinced these tips will help you improve your communication skills. Let me know what you think about these tips in the comments below. I'm always interested in your opinion. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And please subscribe to my channel. Join this positive community. Take care.